You know you're just filming me eating a bacon sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> uh, bit wonky. <laughs> Key coming. Whoa. I'll put it in there. Is that your rubber? Go on and go. Right guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. So these lovely ladies are off to market this morning. The sheep trade is really strong at the moment. So over the last couple of weeks, we've been selling some ewes that we don't need anymore. Now I was planning on selling some sheep a bit later in the year, but we're gonna get them gone now while the price is good. Off to market, then. Off to market. Three, three cull ewes. Just three ewes, yeah. Okay. You're only here for the bacon bap, aren't you, Dad? Uh, definitely, that's all I'm coming for. Yeah. <laughs> they do a really good one at this market. Though. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I used to go to Dad to market, and uh, there was um, uh, our local market, our very local market, uh, has gone completely gone. So this one is, what, about seven miles away, eight miles seven, away? Seven, eight miles away, yeah. I've seen two disappear. One is now a car park for the swimming pool. Yeah, big car park. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and um, the other one, the new one, <laughs> that's gone too. So, and there's an abattoir next to it. Yeah, and that's gone. Yeah, long yeah. gone. I, I think I remember um, my dad taking uh, to the original market, taking them uh, through the town. But walking them from the farm? Walking, walking from the farm, yeah. How fast would we go on a dual carriageway with a trailer? 60. 160? 160. <laughs> no, no, no. 60. 60, okay, yeah. This one, isn't it? This one. Bit of a queue. Anyway. Right, I think we can go then, Dad. Yeah. Good old fashioned setup, that is, isn't it? It is, yeah. Right, that's the sheep dropped off. Bacon back time. I think that's actually quite good. That'll do. Dad, dad, dad. Oh, There's a hedge there. That was a bacon back. Mm, really cool. Best thing about a picture market, isn't it? Definitely the best thing. Mm. Can't beat it. Well, it should show well for you. Good play, I think. Yeah. Should be right. Cull ewes. I meant cull ewes. That's a really good place. Mm. But you sold them, didn't you? Sold some cull ewes last week and the week before. Mm. Yeah, sold really well. In fact, Sort of five year old ewes near, near off what I paid for them, the shearlings. Mm. Um, so they made, yeah, they made. They That's did, pretty good. So yeah, they did well. You know, you're just filming me eating a bacon sandwich? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Could see it, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, Dad's gone into this shop here. This shop has actually been here for a long time, old farm shop. Um, I think he just wanted to see if it was still open, but he's um, actually gone in. He said something about seeing if they've got a hedge knife. So <laughs> he's left me in the car with the engine running. Yeah. He might come back with an ice cream, that'd be good. Did they have one? No, they haven't got one. Oh. Got a bill hook. That's the nearest thing. Yeah. It's a good old fashioned shop, but um, no. No, he didn't know what a hedge knife was. Oh, really? No, he's trying to send me a scythe. I thought, well, you want to make some hay, don't you? So uh, I bought you a side. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so you can make hay the old fashioned the way. The very old fashioned way, yeah. Are you going to try and turn around this mini roundabout? I'm going to Put the right. trailer on. I'm just being honest, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there's a bigger roundabout. You can that turn there. Yeah. Is it possible to get around there with a the trailer? I don't know. Try it. Well, it's all over for you, but I should be stuck if I can't do it. Can we do it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to curb it. Oh, there we go. That's it all done. Right, better get the trailer washed down then.
Right, got a bit of spraying to do. sun's out it's turned into a nice day so this is just a bit of a fungicide going on some wheat it's the same application that I was doing a week or two ago on some of the other fields this bit of wheat is a little bit further behind so I was just giving it an extra few days before I got it sprayed there's only a couple of tanks so it shouldn't take too long I think this is my new favourite drink, Wild Cherry Lucasade. Love it. So annoyingly, I'm still waiting for that part of my drone. I really wanted to get the drone up today. It's such a nice day. But yeah, still waiting for that replacement part. Um, I think it's coming today, but uh, hasn't come in time for this video, I'm afraid. But I think I did quite well. Just over a year without having a crash with that drone, so <laughs> it's not too bad. Once a year, you can just about cope with once a year. But yeah, they definitely don't like trees. So, we've got to be a little bit more careful in the future. So, with this sprayer, unfortunately, we don't have auto shut off so it's all done manually on the box wind speed is about eight mile an hour today the cutoff is probably about 10 so it's just about all right i know there's going to rain tomorrow so i want to get this done but i'm definitely not complaining about the rain don't get me wrong we have needed it we've actually had a fair bit this week um, and there's a bit more coming, so that's all good. Help things green up a bit. There's no auto contour on these booms. I'm in a bit of a dip at the moment, so I've just got to make sure but I'm keeping the booms nice and level. I'm keeping my booms quite low as well because of the wind. These are bubble jet nozzles and they're pretty good for drift, but I'm keeping the boom, the booms quite low anyway. But you've got to be careful when you're in a dip that you don't hit the ground with one side. I've got 200 litres left in the tank. That should get me back up by the next tram line. This is a bad bit just here. Not much weed there, I'm afraid. I suppose with the dry weather though, it has meant that there isn't much disease in any of the crops. So, silver linings, this is the only fungicide we've applied. So, a bit of a cost saving there, but there's gonna be the impact on yield from the dry weather though. So, I suppose it's gonna balance out, isn't it? fold up and fill up no GPS um, today so I've got to count the tram lines so I'll make sure I don't miss any
little bit of sweeping to do in the shed. So yeah, I know, how exciting, sweeping out a shed. It's not that fun, but in between other jobs, I've made a start getting these top sheds swept out. I came in here yesterday, made a start, I brushed everything out from the sides, and now I've got the sweep eggs on the front of the loader. Makes the job much easier. So yeah, everything that I swept out yesterday, I can now sweep up into the middle with the loader. This bit of kit certainly makes life a lot easier. So yeah, we like to keep things clean and tidy, so come in here every few weeks and um, give it a bit of a sweep out. But yeah, having this sweep X certainly makes the job a lot easier. Right, I'm going back outside. Gonna make use of this sunshine. Right, well that's much easier. Got a little trailer on the back of this tractor to carry the chain harrow sections. I've got this field here that he's harrowing, so that'll be me for the rest of the afternoon. The trailer sits a little bit low at the back, but didn't hit the ground, so it's all right. I've got a sway tree as well, sticking out a little bit, but it actually keeps clear of the cab. I was worried I'm gonna turn around a corner and smash on the roof, but no, it's fine. These are a good set of harrows, but obviously we've got separate sections, so they're a bit of a pain to take, you know, between fields, so. Got the trailer on, on the back of the tractor, so I can sort of be self-contained. So yeah, I'll get them set up and get going.